I'm a very optimistic guy. I'm one of those people who can go into any movie and come out liking it some way, somehow. I always see a positive outlook, positive light in any movie. This is the first time in a while that, well... Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance. Ghost Rider 2 stars Nicolas Cage and Idris Elba. And he's basically out in the middle of nowhere because he's trying to run away from civilization because of his curse. Idris Elba promises Johnny Blaze that he can uplift his curse and free him from the Ghost Rider demon forever if he finds this kid who's very important for some reason because he's like the Antichrist. That's where we get our story. And that's the only story there is because the story is very, very shallow. This movie was directed by the people who directed the two Crank movies and let me just say I, I really like the two Crank movies. I, I join them for what they are, but uh. I went into this movie with really no expectations. I saw a lot of reviews, I saw a lot of people's opinions on the movie and I, I had a feeling it'd be bad from the start. I went to a New York City Comic Con screening where they, the two the directors were there and they answered questions and I thought it looked promising. Not promising as in this could be a great movie, but it could be okay. I walked out of the movie. My god. I, I, have, I really haven't felt that bad about a movie in years. I knew I wasn't gonna love it, but I wanted to like it. I, I just couldn't. Nicolas Cage being Nicolas Cage and Ghost Rider being an absolute badass were the only two redeeming qualities in this movie. Not even I just Elba was good. It, it looked like all the decent actors who were there, Idris Elba, the guy who plays the devil, and the monk from Mortal Kombat in the 90s, they didn't look like they wanted to be there. Like, it, it looked like it was a paycheck. The characters of the mother and the son, the mother was bad, but she was tolerable. The kid was terrible. He was so... God. I can't even make fun of the actors, the good and bad in this movie, because... The script was so bad that it's it was it's extremely hard to work with the material that they had, and I could tell it it just looked like a giant joke. Hello, Mr. Knuckle Dime, Mr. Taylor. We brought you here today to discuss the making of the new Ghost Rider film, and we want you two to direct it. Okay, that's awesome. Are you gonna hire some talented screenwriters to write a cohesive script? Uh, no. We want you to write the script. Yeah, but we don't write dialogue. We just make good action scenes. No, we're paying you millions of dollars. You better do okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Gosh. We'll make it. Good. Good. I'll give the directing props because it was creative in a way. Some of the things that these directors did to get certain shots was well, pretty cool. And they did risk their lives to get shots, so it's not like they weren't invested, and it's just... The style that they do it was not right for this movie. But I did like the whole comic book-esque feel of what they did when they reintroduced the origin of Johnny Blaze and how he became Ghost Rider. And that was cool. If you've seen the trailer, you know the part where the guy's shooting the Uzi bullets into Ghost Rider's mouth and then he just spits him out again? And you see Ghost Rider tend to scream a lot? Well, for a majority of the movie, I say about, if you put it all together, probably be like five to ten minutes in total, which is ridiculous. It's all just a this. <laughs> to put it more subtly, too much screaming. So in a nutshell, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance was a very poorly created movie, and it has almost no redeeming qualities, but if you're a fan of the comics or you're a fan of action movies, you might get a kick out of it. Just if you get a kick at all, but I mean, it might be worth it if you really want to see it. Just, if you, if your feelings are neutral about it, or negative, but you feel like you're curious, 
Don't let that curiosity fool you. Don't don't see this movie, please. I'm gonna give Ghost Rider: Spirit of Vengeance a one out of five, purely for Nicolas Cage's charismatic, over-the-top acting. I'm ready for the big ride, baby. And Ghost Rider himself. I'm John, aka Mothman Jones. See you next time.